Hey everybody, Ultra Director Jester here. Thank you for joining me today. Man, 2023 has just been flying by, hasn't it? Just look at all these games we've been playing over the past nine months. And all the crap we did on Niskel's channel too! Wow! Maybe you should check some of them out if you haven't yet. They're real funny, I promise! Well, not only did we do all that, but I have finally broken 5,000 subscribers! Hurrah! <clears throat> Well, hey, it's not Markiplier numbers, it's not Game Grumps numbers, and nowhere near such astronomical numbers that belong to such white-hot celebrities like the Niskel LP, but I'm actually proud of this particular number. I've never been the popular sort online, so having 5,000 people interested in your work is kinda humbling and gratifying. And besides, 5,000 just seems like a real sexy number to me. Yeah. And I have you all to thank for getting me to this nice-looking number. I hope it made you laugh at least a few times over the years, and I hope you'll stick with me in the future. Because that's what we're talking about today. The future. The remainder of 2023. The stuff that the Niskel and I have been cooking up for the past several weeks. The unceasing deluge of content that's ready to be unleashed. There's a little over three months left in the year, and you know what that means. Things are about to get busy. It's time for some announcements! Last week, both Trauma Center, New Blood, and Pizza Tower saw their conclusions, leaving a gaping void in the schedule. We've got two new projects premiering this week, ready to take their slots, fill up the week, and keep the YouTube algorithm appeased. So, what's first? Well, currently, we've got three different ongoing trilogies that need their third game covered at some point, so we might as well tackle the easiest one first. Something wild is coming. Something you wouldn't expect. It's Donkey Kong Country 3 starring Kitty Kong. Ugly bosses, incredible levels, and graphics you won't believe. Donkey Kong Country 3 on Super NES. There's something you don't see every day. Donkey Kong Country 3! Dixie's Double Trouble! It's the game that's a little more than DKC1, but a little less than DKC2, but it still adds up to DKC! Three. This game doesn't seem as fondly remembered as the other DKC games, but I don't remember being so bad. It's basically easier than DKC2, but harder than DKC1, and yet bigger and more complex than both of them. And because people will probably ask, yes, we're going to shoot for a 105% playthrough, which means getting everything on the hardest difficulty. We're playing Switch on... <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> We're playing Switch Online, so don't get your hopes up. I mean, hey, it's the last of the SNES Donkey Kong trilogy, so we should probably make it count, right? After all, it's basically a kid's game, so how hard can it be? Look, there's a literal baby on it! That means it's for babies! We can handle that no problem! I said we can handle that no problem! DKC3 will air at 3 p.m. ET every Monday and Wednesday starting TOMORROW! We're gonna finish this one by the end of the year, which is not something I can say about our next announcement. This next project is gonna be one heck of an undertaking, and I couldn't be more excited to get it started. It's been nearly a year in the making. Ever since it came out, I've been thinking and scheming a ways to put it on the channel, and now I'm delighted to announce... Elden freaking Ray! <clears throat> Elden Ring is next on our list. From Software's biggest and, in my opinion, best game they've ever made, finally dethroning their previous best game, Ninja Blade. This game has absolutely encapsulated me in every way. Its world, its story, its characters, its... well, everything. I've stared at my screen slack-jawed in amazement numerous times at the wonder and sheer grand scale this game offers. But you don't need me to tell you how fucking great it is. Everyone and their goddamn mother gave it 900 billions out of 10, and every game of the insert period of time award to this thing, and it's all well deserved. Boy, I can't wait to begin the journey. It's gonna be a long ride. It'll take months, maybe even more than a year. Maybe two if I suck or if the DLC comes out. It'll be arduous to say the least. We'll take breaks in episodes throughout the year, but we intend to see it through to the end, one way or another. Elden Ring starts Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. ET. Alright then, now let's talk about Halloween. I know it's still a month off, but I'd rather not make another announcement video until December. Okay, here goes. The game I have chosen for this year's Halloween special is... DELAYED TO 2024. Damn. Well, at least we have next year's Halloween special set in stone, right? 
There you have it. Death Mark 2 is the 2024 Halloween special. Hooray! Uh, but what about this year? Initially, I was going to do Hollow Knight, but I'm not good enough or patient enough to do a series out of it. I recorded one episode and realized I didn't want to do 50 more like that. I love Hollow Knight, but not enough to do a deep dive Let's Play over it. So then I was going to do Grim Fandango, a classic Tim Schafer joint. Fun, charming, deep and witty, not to mention you control a skeleton man, keeping a constant spooky tone. Perfect. I was locked into that for a while, but wouldn't you know it, seemingly by pure coincidence, I happened to find the perfect replacement for Death Mark II. Paranormous, par, par, paranormous side. The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. This horror game released earlier this year, and I couldn't hope to find a more suitable choice. It is, in essence, a game for horror visual novel fans, and for those who are waiting for Death Mark II. It's not as crushingly terrifying or visceral as a Spear Hunter series, but there's still a lot of excellent moments, and the story has more twists and turns than a spirograph that kept going on for a week. This is a great little gem that needs more exposure, and I really think this is going to be a lot of fun. Paranorma Sight will premiere weekday starting at October 16th, still at 3pm ET, with the finale premiering on Halloween. Maybe in the month in between, you can buy it and play it yourself beforehand. It's actually on sale on the eShop, and believe me, if you like Deathmark, you'll like this. Nobody paid me to say that, just my personal recommendation for a good-ass fucking video game. Huh, <sighs> that's about it. Oh, well, well, almost. I have two more little half announcements. Sonic Frontiers! The DLC story has been announced, Joy of Joys, and it'll be here at the end of the month, Joy of Joys, but I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna cover it. Do we race this one too? Should I do it alone? Am I gonna stream it blind? For that matter, how long is it? How much variety is there in the game? Are there extra collectibles? How do they integrate with the main game, if at all? But of course, for all that to happen, the DLC has to, you know, come out first. It's hard to plan a Let's Play of a game that isn't even out yet. Too many variables, as you can guess. Stay tuned! One way or another, the DLC will be integrated into the channel schedule eventually. And of course, be sure to stick around for December, because Iskill and I have been hard at work on our new yearly tradition, the Advent Calendar! 25 days of one-shots between Niskel's channel and mine, where we just trade games back and forth with each other, with a nice Hallmark holiday theme around it. Literally, anything can happen. Again, stay tuned for that on this and the Niskels channel. Okay, that is it. I've got no more as left to announces. Here's an invite to our Discord in the description if you still need it. It's gone in a week. Follow me on my Twixer, my Tumbly, and my Woolly Mamadon for updates about new episodes dropping and other chicanery. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, feel free to not. 6,000 is a way less sexy number than 5,000. Anyway, I gotta run. I got deadlines to fill and work to do. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.